I just had to pull over to tell y'all what is going on today. Today has probably been one of the most normal days that I have had in the last week. My business partner came down from Jasper for Chrome Defy. We worked out some stuff that we needed to get done. You know, it was a, a good day overall. After he leaves, my internet starts acting crazy. I'm like, okay, I just had this whole house rewired, brand new modems. Let me just check and see if somehow the wire has come loose, something behind. So I go to check the modem. Right as I go to pull this modem out, the entire little piece that the cable wire screws into comes out of the back of the modem. There ain't no fixing that. So I'm like, holy crap, I'm gonna be without internet all weekend, it's Saturday probably won't even get them here Monday or Tuesday. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do now? I get on the phone with Charter. They find a store in LaGrange that is supposed to be, they give me three different stores that are open till 8 p.m. I don't believe them because I have did this before and either the store is shut down or they closed. So I'm like, that's like a 40 to 50 minute drive for me. But I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to try it. Because I cannot be without internet all weekend. That is my lifeline. So, I do this. Get in my car. I get 20 minutes down the road and I notice my battery is at 3%. And I do not have my iPhone cable in the car. I have no cables in my car to charge my phone. And I've got GPS running on this phone. So, I'm like, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I, I rarely ever come to LaGrange. I don't know where I'm going. So I keep going straight. I'm like, I can chance this because I'm a dude and I am stubborn and I think that I can... In three quarters of a mile, turn right onto Harry Hardy Road. If you can hear that, that was my GPS. It just got loud. So I keep going and I somehow get all turned around. I'm in the middle of nowhere and I run across this old gas station that looks abandoned, but it's open. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna walk up in this place. They probably got a... 1980 something Motorola freaking car phone they'll sell me. There's no way they're going to have an iPhone cable. So the moment I walk in this store, I walk back to the cooler. They do have Coke and they have drinks. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm at least get something to drink here. And I get up to the, the counter and the first thing out of this guy's mouth was, I saw you on TV. I'm like, yeah, 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 you know, whatever. You know, same thing happened while we were at lunch today. They saw me on TV. Well, I'm like, yeah, that was me, blah, blah, blah. I need an iPhone cable. Do y'all by any chance have one? This guy pulls two iPhone cables, this cheap blue one that was in a rubber band folded up with dust on it, and then he actually has an actual iPhone cable that is in the iPhone, the Apple box. So he's like, you want the cheap one or do you want the professional, the expensive one, basically expensive one? I'm like, I want the cheap one. So he's like, okay, that's $15.99. And I'm like, which one? The professional one? He's like, no, the cheap one. So I'm like, well, how much is the professional one? $69.99. So I'm looking at the little thing that he's got on the counter and it says iPhone cords, $4.99. So I said, well, it says right here, $4.99. He says, that's old price. I'm like... When is, since when is it old price? Since I walk through the door, he says, no, old price. And he takes the thing off the thing. He said, $15.99. So I am literally sitting here at this point or standing here. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So I'm like, all right. So you literally told me it's a cheap cable, cheap. And you're trying to sell me the expensive cable. So it's obviously a piece of crap. I said, dude, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I have got 3% on my phone. I don't know where I am. I am vulnerable. I just want to go and get my modem and go home. This little guy says, okay, well, if that's too expensive for you, I've got a map for $5.99. I don't even know how to read a map. I remember going places with my granddaddy when I was a kid and he would get out and lay the map on the hood of the car and I thought, that he was a scientist or something. This man's trying to sell me a paper map. I didn't even know they made paper maps no more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy you $15.99 cord. So, you know, I'm buying it. I'm not happy about it at all. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Look, oh. So I buy the cord. 
And then I start to leave and he's like, have a nice day. I'm like, oh, really? Well, I hope when you go home tonight and you eat your dinner and you go to bed, you blow your butthole out because I don't hope you have a good day. You just rip. So this guy is going to start yelling at me and telling me to leave his store and not to come back. First of all, I ain't ever coming to your store again. That's like someone breaking into my house, beating the shit out of me and then me smiling at them and telling them to come back next week and do it again. You just robbed me, sir. I'm not coming back to your store. But I got the iPhone cable for $15.99. I made it to charter and I got my modem and now I'm going home. Guys, I, I need you to watch the whole news interviews. Google it. I am not a trillionaire. I ain't got, I don't even have a dime, okay? <laughs> I am not rich. Please, please watch the news, the media, read the Google. It, it's, I'm going to go home now. I'm going to go home. That's all I got to say.